economy because jobs like steel, for instance, other heavy industry that the North East is very dependent on, if we go too far towards tackling climate change, are we going to, you know, the Northern Powerhouse could be even poorer, couldn't it? Um, well, I don't think we can go too far towards uh, tackling climate change. The danger well, is that we don't go far enough. If you're a steel worker, if you're working in the chemical um, industry, if you're working in the heavy yeah. industry, you might think so. I mean, what I would like to see would be a, a, a renewable northern powerhouse. Um, I think we have, you know, we have the coastline and we have the engineering uh, history and expertise that we could really be a leader um, in renewable energy and renewable energy infrastructure and uh, renewable, uh, sorry, clean transport infrastructure. And what we what we could do to lead on that. Um, and someone like the North of the Time Mayor could, could really uh, push us forward is to increase the amount of uh, training and development for people uh, to go into those industries. Because we know from, from speaking to industry that those skills are in short supply. And demand for that is only going to increase as we actually get to grips with this climate crisis. Um, Judith Wallace, what about the, the point that Phil Wilson uh, makes, which is made, made by IPPR North uh, today as well, which is that if you take the amount of money that's been taken out for austerity, actually a lot of money, billions come out of the North East economy. Actually, if you look at public spending and like the South East and South West, it's gone up since 2010. I think we're absolutely wrong to be focusing just on public sector jobs here, as though we're sitting... Well, a, no, no. Also uh, funding services, not, it's not just about how many council workers there are, but whether our hospitals, our schools are all working for Well, the number, the number of doctors and the number of nurses has actually increased. The number of children in good and outstanding schools has increased. But I think it's bonkers to be...